haven't heard about the Chinese farmers harvest festival before. This is my first time hearing about this festival. Okay, this festival is only set up for the farmers okay. at the national level. But this year, 222, is the fifth one. Wow. Is there a special meaning behind this festival? The festival is set up on September the 23rd. It's the autumn equinox in 24 solar terms in Chinese wow. uh, history. Okay. Xiaoxin Matou Village is located in Baodi District of North China's Tianjin. Over 1,000 years ago, it was a green transport dock of the Liao Dynasty at that time. So right now we are walking inside of the rice paddies. Mm. Uh, how's it feel? Ah, oh, the fresh air is amazing. It's beautiful. During the Ming Dynasty, rice planting techniques were transferred here from southern China. Local farmers started to transplant rice corp and the village raised the reputation of a district where fish and rice are abundant. James, do you like to eat rice in your country? I like to eat rice personally, even though my country doesn't have side dishes of rice. Take notice of the crab means the rice paddy and the, the crab can increase the farmer's yeah. income. Yeah. And also this is a uh, one strategy named the rural revitalization in China. Ooh, yeah. okay. This is one step named the uh, industrial perspective to wow. increase the farmer's income. Wow. Well, take a look at it. Okay. That looks very full. Just wait. One. Maybe you got three. Wow! I have two! Got two. Hey, Laban. See Laban. Don't bite me. Okay. <laughs> the different architecture mm -hmm. uh, step. Pretty beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. I want to take you to tour the village. And there's a sightseeing car. Let's go. Let's go around and uh, just uh, have a walk and see. Let's have a view. But this is much more difficult. The part is never. Oh wow. So today is really good. In recent years, China uh, has uh, kept a step by step for the rural revitalization process. And you see, they build up the country road and make over the country yards. And right. becoming really beautiful. Right. I was not expecting this before coming here. I had no idea what I was going to expect, but I know that it was going to have a field involved, maybe. But seeing vital revitalization of the both country and relaxing forms, so it's like a it's like a good mix to see this maybe rejuvenation of this rural side of Tianjin. Yeah, and this rural side has attracted more and more visitors to come nearby, like in Beijing imagine. or Tianjin. And the rural tourism has become another industry another, yeah. to in, to increase the farmers' income. Well, this is a very very interesting city, a yeah. rural village. The countryside is. Becoming prettier and prettier, I think. And this is very interesting that you can that you can learn so much in one day. Wow, that's cool. <laughs>